The first thing you'll need to do once your defibrillator arrives at the bedside is apply your quick combo pads. You'll need to apply them in an anterior, posterior method or front and back as seen here. The first step will be to peel and place it on the baby's back by rolling the baby to the side and applying it firmly to the baby's back. Then simply roll the baby backwards. Now you'll apply the front pad by peeling, applying it firmly to the baby's chest as seen here. Now you're ready to connect the pads to the defibrillator via the quick combo connector. You simply connect as seen here. Now it's time to turn on your defibrillator. Now that your defibrillator has arrived and your quick combo pads are on, it's time to turn the defibrillator on. With this Zoll, you'll do this by simply turning the dial to monitor. Once that's done, you should see your rhythm appear on the monitor. Because we are going to pace, we now need to turn on our pacer. With this Zoll defibrillator, you do that by turning the dial down to the green portion where it says pacer. At this point, you're going to choose the heart rate or the rate that you want to feel a palpable pulse. If you'll notice, this patient has been at a heart rate of 56. So it may be in the patient's best interest to keep the heart rate between 80 or 90. For the purpose of this video, we're going to increase our rate to 90. You do this by choosing the bottom two dials and the rate is located here on the right. You turn that dial to a rate of 90, of which you can see right here at the bottom. Now you want to choose your current or your output or milliamps. For the pacer on this Zoll defibrillator, it would be over to the left, this dial, and you're going to dial up your milliamps until you not only see mechanical capture, in other words, the pacer spikes on in front of each QRS, but you'll also want to feel physiologic capture. In other words, you're going to want to feel a pulse on this patient at the rate in which you set it. So we'll turn our dial. We already see mechanical capture. You can see the pacer spikes in blue here. Now we're gonna turn our dial up some more, slowly turning until you see not only mechanical capture, but there's a change. At about 55 milliamps on this particular defibrillator, we see a change of both mechanical and we should feel a rate on the patient's femoral pulse of 90. So at this point, we have paced the patient at 55 milliamps at a rate of 90. You'll want to now do a full set of vitals see what the patient's saturations are, how well their blood pressure looks, their perfusion, etc., and see it, if it has improved at this heart rate, or do you need to increase or decrease your heart rate? If so, you can increase it here, 95, 100, and so forth. And if you need to increase or decrease your output or milliamps, you can do that here, going up to 60, or back down to 50 and seeing we notice that we don't get as good of capture at 50 so we'll pick back up right back to between 55 and 60. So this is how you would do mechanical pacing on a neonate using the Zoll R-Series defibrillator.